Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Ray Jr. Uh, video you about to see is um, a couple of awards I received in the mail from uh, CGC. Um, I got them a, a while back and I just hadn't got around to doing the video. Uh, but what it is, it's uh, what they call the Registry Award, um, where you have enough points in a set and then by the end, once the year is over with, then um, if you're that number one person, then then you get a certificate. Um, I The first one I won was back in uh, 2014, and I really wasn't uh, knowing what was going on with that, you know, because I was still new to the game for uh, getting books graded or whatever. So <clears throat> once I got that, then um, I started focusing once I didn't win the certain set for 2015 and 16 so I was like you know um, I'm in it to win it so I went in and did what I had to do to get back where I belonged and that was number one and then um, you know then I met another uh, CGC guy uh, by the name of A-Port and it's more like um, we don't collect the same books but it's more like uh, to me, I, you know, it's a friendly competition because, you know, he, I, I love my Thor books. He loves his Exo Man of War. So we both won, you know, a couple of certificates this year. So, you know, now we're shooting to, to win even more next year. So that's a little friendly rivalry that I like. Um, he's one of the, another uh, NY Warrior. So uh, let me check it out. So I'm go ahead and open this up and then show you what sets I won. Okay, the first one that I want is for the 1998 Blade set. So, as you see, uh, 2017 Registry Awards, this certificate is presented to me uh, for, ex for outstanding achievement on building the top rank set in the CGC Registry. And then I named it Comic Book Fanatics Blade 1998. So, I was real stoked on that one. And then, same with this one. As you see, that everybody knows, God Thor, uh, Thor, God of Thunder, for 2013, and I was excited about that as well. So, um, right now, I'm still leading that. I'm still leading uh, the blade, and uh, it's either you know you send in your raw copies, or if you got to, you got to do what you got to do. Go on eBay and find you the highest rated book. Uh, for that set that you're trying to win, you know, everybody wants the nine eights um, But it's kind of hard trying to get the nine eight so nine six a, a help, but uh, the point differential is uh, You know, there's a big difference in between it like uh, a regular nine eight will get you 25 points, but if you get it signed witness and signed that's like an extra couple of points like two or three points so that could be what separates you from that your your competition, and uh, that's what I learned, um, you know, uh, throughout the past year. You know what to look for, and then um, what I also look for is I look for um, um, how you say it, the word I'm looking for, uh, some type of movement or whatever, as in um, if that person is active. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the guy who beat me for 2015 and 16. Well, the last time he posted anything was 2014, so he posted his, like, uh, his Thor God of Thunder book, like, right after, I guess, I won the set, and then I didn't know nothing about it, really, because, like I said, I was just new to all the, the CGC registry, so uh, he had one book that was a signature series, it was, like, 28 points, I only had three, and that was because my Thor God of Thunder number one, um, I didn't have it pressed, and it came back a 9-2, but it also had a Jason Aaron signature. That's, you know, like I said, new to all the signature stuff and all that. Uh, it came back qualified, which you still get points for that, but not a whole lot. So, um, so I learned on that. And then uh, just what are the other titles that are not out there? Like uh, Blade. Uh, there's some people that has those sets registered, but... Like I said, I got two, and one was a 9.8, and the other one's a, a 9.6. Uh, 
So my points are pretty high on that. And then um, right now I lead for Power Girl Volume 1. I uh, got a couple of high grades and then some low grades. So I'm going to try to see if I can get, uh, you know, some high grades for for issue two and number three. So it, it separates me from the, the, the competition because right now the points for that one's pretty low. So anybody with a high book could probably just take over that position. Um, and there's a couple of other ones. I uh, can't think off the top of my head uh, that I'm looking forward to to try to, you know, win next year um, so that way I have these two plus a couple of more so like I said it gets addicting it gets real addicting and um, I just would like to see um, some more people uh, participate in this that I know but I know some people you know not really into it you know they like to get their slab books or whatever or they're into uh, CBCS and I, I don't think they have one yet but I think they're working on it so It'll be interesting to see um, some of my friends that do the CBCS uh, to see how their registry stuff goes. But that is it. Um, I know you want to be looking at uh, my wife's pillow, so I'm going to go ahead and I forgot to put that back up there. So, uh, But anyway, that is it. That's what I wanted to share with everybody, uh, my CGC, my two certificates. Um, once again, once uh, I get situated and when I retire from the Army, uh, I'm telling you, uh, my wife says she has big plans for my man cave how to she's going to decorate it because she's all into that decorating so you know these will be framed and uh, hope that you know add many more so I have three right now one from 2014 and then two from 2017 so I hope to win more sets from from here on out you know to add to my my I guess uh, CGC uh, uh, registry uh, award a wall of fame <laughs> something like that but till next time i hope everybody has a great and wonderful evening i'm out